Hi, I'm Deborah Savager, your resource for using Microsoft Office in a legal practice context. And if you're starting to use styles to format your Word documents, you're probably confused by all the settings you have to choose from. Here are my recommendations for the six style settings you need to use. If you want to be sure your headings are always connected to their following paragraphs and not separated from them by a page break, be sure to turn the Styles Keep With Next checkbox on. To do that, right-click on the style, choose Modify, and in the lower left-hand corner of the Modify Style dialog box, click Format, Paragraph, and on the Line and Page Breaks tab, check the box next to Keep With Next. Then click OK to return to the Modify Style dialog box. And click OK to return to your document. Be sure to check the New Documents Based on This Template radio button to keep from having to do this every time you start a new document. While we're here in the Modify Style dialog box, you may be tempted to check the Automatically Update box near the bottom. Don't. This setting tells Word to save any text formatting changes you make to style text to that document's style. In other words, if you do any direct formatting of your text, you'll find that all of the text with that style applied suddenly takes on the same characteristics. With very rare exceptions, you don't want to set that precedent. Rather, you want to preserve your ability to do a bit of direct formatting here and there without wrecking your styles. If a style you're creating or modifying is a style you very seldom use, you may not want it cluttering up your Styles Gallery on the Home tab. You can uncheck the Add to the Styles Gallery box to remove it completely, or you can assign it a sorting order value to send it to the end of the gallery so that only your top priority styles are visible in the first row. To do that, open the Styles pane by clicking on the little launcher arrow in the lower right-hand corner and then clicking Manage Styles. Sort the list so you can actually find the style and then find the style. Select it and then click Assign Value to either assign it a high enough value where it's not going to be visible, or just click the Make Last button. Then click OK. Styles come in three basic flavors. Character, Paragraph, and Linked. That last one combines both character e.g. font, type size, etc., and paragraph, e.g. justification, line spacing, etc., formatting. Unless you have a very specific need to control both the font formatting and the paragraph formatting within a single style, pick either character or paragraph style under the style type. For example, if I was creating a style for a block quote to use for case law, I'd want that to be a paragraph style because all I want the style to do is to control the line spacing and indentation. Otherwise, I'd want the style to pick up whatever default font that's already in the document I'm working in. If I were to make it a linked style, it would always carry over whatever font formatting happened to be present in the document I first created that style in, which may not match the current document. That could create a huge mess you continually have to clean up, and that's not a very efficient way to use styles. When you're creating your own custom styles to use in your documents, take a second to think about what's going to happen when you press the Enter key. Do you want to keep formatting text with that same style, or do you want to go back to normal or some other style? Here's an example. If I'm using my block quote style to format some quoted case law to excerpts, I may want to return to the normal style after I'm finished with that paragraph.
On the other hand, if I'm using my depot text style to format quoted deposition testimony, it may make more sense to continue in that same style for multiple paragraphs. A lot of people don't realize they can set a certain amount of space to automatically appear after each paragraph rather than having to hit the enter key twice every time they start a new paragraph. For one thing, who needs an extra keystroke? Second, putting that extra space in defeats the keep with next setting I showed you earlier since the next in that scenario becomes a blank line rather than the first line of the next paragraph. All you have to do to set some automatic vertical space between your paragraphs or between your headings and their following paragraphs is to go to the paragraph dialog box and put a setting in the spacing after field. If you're in the create new style from formatting or the modify style dialog box, click the format button in the lower left hand corner and choose paragraph, then fill in the spacing after field you can either type a value straight in or use the spinner arrows to increment or decrement the number. Be sure that the don't add spacing between paragraphs of the same style is left unchecked. Now the paragraphs and headings are very attractively spaced. I hope these six tips have given you some more confidence in using styles for your own documents. Got a question about styles? Leave it in the comments below, and thanks for watching.